ICT Integration Workshop 4.2 Presentation Tools. This time we're going to look at Socrative. Now Socrative is a great tool to use um, for determining how well students are understanding the progress. Because the difference between Socrative and Poll Everywhere is that Socrative gives individual students uh, feedback, but it's less, in, it's less easy to embed it within the class. So to give you some kind of idea, here's Socrative, here's some my quizzes. And I've made this quiz called Astronomy. So basically, how many planets orbit our sun? Could be eight or nine. I can add, I can add extra questions in here. Maybe I'll put in seven, ten, whatever. Doesn't matter. And you select which one's which one's correct. And here I've actually said given the explanation. All right, I can save that. Um, here, next, I've got how many moons orbit Mars, and then how long would it take to get to Mars? So that's an open, more of an open-ended question. All right, so there I've got save and exit. So if I go to launch, I can go launch a quiz. And I want to launch astronomy. Now before I do that, I'm just going to switch across to this is what a student sees. Okay, so I'm just going to get student to log out. Yes. So for me, I'm using uh, the room name. And for me, the room name is going to be G5 2014. You can choose that yourself. So G5 2014, join. Now when you join, it's, it will say you have to put in your name. Now, luckily I've actually already put in the name for the student, so I've just jumped back in. And it says I'm waiting for the next activity. All right, so I'll go quiz and astronomy and next. Okay, delivery, um, I'm gonna require names and I want Open navigation. Yep, start. So let's have a look. So here it says, all right, you need to put in your name. Now I could make it anonymous or I can put in names. So I'm going to put in Jared Johnson. I go done. And now it's going to ask me those questions. All right, so now immediately you can see Jared Johnson's come up as my questions here. How many planets are out sound? Well, I'm going to say seven. All right, I'm going next. Right, and immediately it's come up with my answer and says I got it wrong. How many moons orbit Mars? Right, next. Okay, so it's correct this time. How long will it take to get to Mars? Um, 10 years if I walked. Now let's have a look at this one. Finish. Sure. Oh no, just check. Yep, finish quiz. I'm pretty happy with that. Yes. Okay, you've completed it. And now it says 10 years. All right, so, and I can go, cool. Let's go finish this, and I can get the reports, and I can, or I can just view it like this, but I could get it downloaded to Excel if I wanted to. All right, and I've got rid of, because I've got rid of it, it's gone to a new thing. This is waiting for the next activity to begin. Now, an alternative, so it, the, it's different to Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere is that, that instantaneous feedback, and you can see it up on the screen. You can do something similar, where it's just a quick question. Um, or true or false or short answer. Um, so in this case, I might go uh, true or false. Okay, and immediately comes up with true or false. So this is like up on the board. So I go true. Okay, and submit. All right. So it's telling me how many people have got true. Okay. So that's for that's for like an instantaneous feedback. All right. The other one, and so same thing for short answer, multiple choice. So it's a way of getting instantaneous feedback. You can't embed it with your PowerPoint. The final one, which is really good, is exit ticket. Now this requires no setup at all, right? So here it's gone into name, again I've got Jared Johnson. All right, now I have not created this at all. I just go in and it says, how well did you understand today's material? Not at all, all right? Submit answer. What did you learn today's class? Um, well, we did a little bit of astronomy. Astronomy and Mars, okay? Submit. And please answer the teacher's question. So here I can see what the kids have written, All right? Please answer the teacher's question. So this is what the teacher can do. So the teacher using a normal whiteboard or asking a question out loud or putting something, it may be as simple as um, have you completed the project or how, where are you up to in your assignment or how many moons are there on Mars, All right? It's up to you. You put it up on the board, add one plus one. So here I might say um, uh, I have finished the first section of my project, but need to do part two. Okay, submit answer. 
Right, done. So this is an exit ticket. Now, because it's ticked, I can then say, Jared Johnson, thank you. You finished the class. See you later. All right. And when I'm finished, I can go uh, view chart or get a report. I want the whole chart as an Excel. Download. Okay. And that's downloaded that as Excel. And so now I can open it up. Oops. I don't know if I did that right. Now I can, oh, there we go. So now I can open up and I can see exactly how well people have gone. Now, middle is only one person in my class, but they've said, hmm, they did not really understand it. They understood that it was about astronomy. Uh, please answer the questions. Yes, they're up to it. So it gives, it gives you a really quick feedback on how things are going, right? Great for um, knowing where everyone's up to. Really great feedback for how well you've taught your lesson. Um, fantastic for um, getting students' results. Um, so if you just taught a lesson on astronomy and everyone's saying, I didn't understand it, gives you that, that, uh, that chance to go back and reflect on it and think about it before you teach the next lesson. Also means that you actually get students' feedback at the end of the lesson rather than when they're doing their end of topic test. Okay, so that's, Socrat that's uh, Socrative. Give it a go, uh, have fun, see how you go.